take a look what I found today on AliExpress. And the price for this module starts from 1 US dollar. Depends on how many modules you wanna order. And take a look how small it is. You can place it on your finger. And what is it? It's the smallest lithium battery charging protection board 3.7 volts, 4.2 volts or for charging 18650 batteries charging power short circuit protection board with type C. Can you see it? how small it is? The whole circuit board is on that type C connector. And this thing right now is very popular. So I order and I forgot how many pieces I order. Only one or five or I don't know. We're gonna find out very soon. And I got them. This is bad day for me. No bubbles, not happy day. But never mind, we got the modules. Oh, two of them. All right. This is it. Can you see it? This is type C female connector or charging board. I'm gonna split. Wow. They're so tiny. And yes, below the type C connector, there is a circuit board, a tiny one charging board for lithium batteries. Oh, this will be super funny on my solar turn turntable. Take a look. They're so wow. I can't place them. All right, all right. And you can see them in 360 and while they are spinning, I will read what it says in description. Ultra small size design, it says. Product name, mini lithium, lithium battery charging model, charging current 600 milliampers. That is beautiful. It's not one ampere, it's 600 milliampers and cannot be changed. Maybe, we, we're gonna find out. Charging voltage DC 4.2 volts, trickle charge threshold 2.8 volt, volts, constant current, constant voltage charging mode with thermal adjustment. What does it mean? I don't know. And the size of this mini charging module with type C connector is 10 millimeters by 7.5 by 2 by 5.2 millimeters. Beautiful. Ultra small extreme design. I don't know, can you see it, but I will explain. Here it is the charger integrated circuit, this blue thing. Also we have a micro LEDs for power on and fully charged battery right here, two of them. And we have two points where we're gonna solder the wires connected to the battery. Using my portable microscope, we're gonna see circuit board oh all right here are the the LEDs come on zoom oh this is nice what it says LP 4405A that is the integrated circuit for charging board this is super tiny Okay, hey, let's solder some wires. Where is the thing? I lost it. No, it's here. <laughs> and the wires are bigger than the module. I'm kidding. I'm gonna use thinner wires like this. Okay, okay. It's micro. I can't believe it. <laughs> the thing is so small that my third hand is not helping. <laughs> Okay, okay. First I'm gonna put some thing on that point where it says positive and negative and must be super gentle. 
let's go with low. As I say, the wires are much bigger than the the module itself. Come on, man. I'm getting old for this stuff. Okay, done. Now I'm gonna place the battery. But first, before soldering the battery, let's power on in three, two, one. Oh, we have green LED and red LED. Which one is power on, the green one or the red one? We're gonna find out when I solder the wires to the battery. Okay, battery connected, power on, and we have a red light only, that the red light meaning that is power on, and the green will be turned on when the battery is fully charged. Let's quickly measure the voltage. What it says, can you see it? What it says? Oh, this battery is almost full. 4.1 volt. <laughs> I need to find another battery. Empty one. I changed the battery. This is the empty one. Red light meaning charging. That is power on, that doesn't mean charging. When it will be fully charged, the green one will be turned on. And this one is also 4 volts. Okay. Let's see now with how many milliampers is charging the battery using my Type-C meter and let's see 600 milliampers wow exactly as it says in description 600 milliampers 600 milliampers for so small battery maybe it's a lot this had this one is 200 milliampers, that means that in how many minutes it will be fully charged? 600 in one hour, 300 in half an hour, maybe for 20 or 25 minutes it will be fully charged. Beautiful. And why this module is beautiful? And you can use it in RC remote control drones maybe maybe in remote control cars or tiny vehicles where you need to add this small and doesn't wait too much I forgot that and let's wait half a gram it's not even one gram half a gram <laughs> okay this is maybe very important for some hobbyists who want to add this charger module on the DIY projects like drones or RC cars, I don't know. And uh, by me, the only negative side of this thing is that there is no way how to attach this thing to the, to the project only with super glue or hot glue maybe but there are no holes for tightening up this thing to something else otherwise I have never seen a small charger like this one the link will be in description below so you can check it and I need to know what will happen when I sure the, the battery the amperes go to 200 milliampers and going back to charging yes this thing doesn't have a protection i think it says in the title but i don't think so what do you think please comment below all right that was all for today's video please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya This thing is impossible to make at home. Impossible mission. But that's why 
Aliexpress is here. So we can buy these super cheap and super tiny modules like this one. Love it.